This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit, and today I'm going to talk about art theory. Exciting, huh? Not really. Not for me, anyway. When I cleaned out my studio this last year, rearranged things. It was quite a, quite a job. I think it was about a two-week period that I spent doing that one of the things I did is got rid of some books and I had a, an art theory class I think early on in my college education I still had that textbook from when I went to school and I don't know if I ever read it. <laughs> I carried it with me. It was on my bookshelf and all. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not slamming art theory at all. I just revealing that where my mind is around it. And what actually brought it up is yesterday. So yesterday I didn't make it to this session. Um, I woke up in the morning and I actually it was in the night of that morning I had just had an experience of a lot of energy moving through me and I, I was talking to a friend on the phone about it I said you know I haven't missed one of these painting spirit sessions since I began a couple of months ago Besides taking a, a holiday break between Christmas and New Year. So it was kind of a big deal for me to decide not to do the episode yesterday. But what I was saying, you know, I was trying to explain what was going on, and it wasn't. For me, my personal experience, it wasn't something necessarily emotional. Somebody else might experience it that way, but for me it was really about energy kind of moving through. I've had experiences. I've talked about practicing Tai Chi. I've done various type of emotional healing things and gotten to a place where I've become really familiar with <clears throat> the energy in my body and also through experience knowing that it, it can move through me and whatever the experiences I'm having in the moment will eventually shift and change I've had the experience so many times and he asked, he said something, my friend said something about, well, was it this or that? I, I don't even remember the question exactly how he asked me, but I thought about it and I was like, well, I probably had a theory about that at one time. I'm not so sure I do anymore. But for me, the experience was simply just energy moving through my body and I kind of just went into this place of allowing whatever was going on with me going into kind of a state that I talk about with these painting spirit videos of getting into that place of just no mind no thought letting go of all thought really it's a it's an opening up and a letting go um, that was my experience. And he said, is it like the, the Marines where they say pain is just weakness leaving the body? <laughs> I laughed. Yeah, it's, maybe that that is more of an accurate way of putting it. I don't know if it's the same experience that I have that the Marines have. I've never been a Marine. But anyway, it gets me to this topic of art theory that 
I don't even know what art theory is, really. It's kind of a funny, funny idea to me. Because for me, it's all about experimenting, and I think that's what theories are for. Seems I'm not a scientist, so I don't know this. Don't quote me on this, but I think I had a science class where they talked about the law of gravity actually isn't a law because um, there isn't any kind of consensus on what it is exactly but there's theories that allow things to be done around those theories accomplishments getting man to the moon and all that good stuff. So there's a theory about gra gravity that allows science to accomplish things. <clears throat> and when I'm painting, today I kind of decided to do, I think I'm going to do a, a landscape. We'll see how far I go with this. kind of getting lost in my thought right now. So, I kind of moved back and forth between doing these landscapes, or I've done a few critters, and I've done the abstractions and I was thinking about this with art theory, some kinds of ways of approaching art. And there are so many ways I'm not even gonna, I wouldn't even be able to attempt to touch on all of them. I just give you my, my personal experiences with them. But uh, you know, with the abstractions and working from nature, I kind of jump back and forth. I've talked about doing the abstract paintings really. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to take a drink of water here. Doing abstractions allows me to play with color in a way that I might not do if I'm I just simply stuck to working with maybe a landscape photo like I'm doing right now. It allows me to experiment with color in a way that when I come back to doing a, a landscape like I am, I can use what I've discovered with color and creating much more dynamic and alive, in my eyes anyway, um, landscape paintings. It's all about experimenting. And, you know, there's principles that allow Yeah, again, getting into this painting here. There's principles in abstraction that just allows you to open up the painting because you're not really sticking with trying to get it to look like anything particular, but you're working with the energy of the painting and getting it to come come to life. Well, that's those same kinds of principles can be can be applied to a landscape like I'm kind of doing right now. Just exploring with colors, this picture that I'm working from, if you were to be looking at the same picture that I'm looking at, you're not going to see any of these colors probably. And 
and there was a time when I did landscapes where I was just very mo monochromatic with it. It was just more exploring light. Not really paying a whole lot of attention to to color necessarily, except for if you got really up close to my paintings, you'd see all kinds of colors going on. So there's a little mini abstractions happening within my paintings, even when they were kind of monochromatic. So I'm just going to kind of get into this painting. I guess I talked about why I missed the episode yesterday. We can get into ideas in our head about things, but really putting it into practice is where you test the theories that you have in your mind about stuff. You know, I said that, I think on Monday, that I had pulled a muscle in my back and had to go to the chiropractor, and there's ideas about chiropractic that <clears throat> are out there. Some people might think it's a little bit wacko. I've gone to a chiropractor for probably 20 plus years. And I know from my experience, <laughs> the experience that I have and had early on when I first went, it was kind of a quite a decision process for me and a, having a theory about it and then having experiences where that theory turned into kind of a knowing for me even even though it's my experience I'm not so caught up in in what my particular beliefs are about it where everybody's going to have their own experiences that are unique to them based on whatever they have going on with them so I don't think there's any one universal way to view it but for me it's like nothing ever happened it's kind of funny really because I think one of the things that might have contributed to my back going out was an exercise that I had learned about a year ago martial arts exercise I told you I was working on the computer a lot this past week and I had decided I hadn't done this exor these exercises for a while and when I originally did them I eliminated a knee issue that I was having basically has pretty much gone away since I did those exercises. Let's see here. There's my bell. I'm kind of just playing with color here. I haven't really talked a whole lot about this painting. I've just been playing with it. But anyway, so I think that I sitting on the computer and I decided to take Ginny for a walk and said, oh, you know, I should loosen up a bit and started to do these exercises. And I really think that's what pulled my back. So having a theory about stuff isn't necessarily, might have been something that helped me at one time, but at that particular moment, I probably would have been better off to maybe gently go into that exercise. Anyway, that's my little discussion on theory for today. So... If you have theories about art and you want to maybe expand something in your art, maybe let go of some of those theories that you have and open up to new ones. Maybe if you don't necessarily care for abstraction but you want to 
get color happening in your painting or in your life. Maybe open up to doing an abstract painting. See what happens. And I might actually, instead of going with my rule of trying to get these done in 15 minutes, I might spend a little bit of time with this. Yeah, see what happens. Anyway, play with your theories, let go of some theories that aren't serving you, and open up to new ones. Get out your brushes. We'll see you tomorrow.